go from where he could eat anything to where he had to only eat things that were gluten-free. And it just turned his life upside down. He got really sick, almost died. I prayed for him to be healed in Jesus' name. I believe God saved his life. We rebuked that spirit of death. But there were some repercussions. And while he may not be drinking, he just turned one addiction to the next and smokes the cigarettes and hits, hits the weed. Now, he knows it's wrong, but he's in bondage to it. He's chained to it. What do you do when someone in your own family is addicted, whether it be to alcohol, smoking marijuana, they're taking cigarettes? Let me tell you something about the cigarettes. Down here in Indonesia, they have a law mm-hmm. that you cannot buy a pack of cigarettes that does not contain some graphic image of someone who has had lost their foot or they had to, they lost part of their face. All these graphic images oh of people been eaten up with cancer. I mean, you're looking at somebody who's basically cigarette killed them and yet you buy them. But folks, one is as bad as the next. People die every day from cancer and cigarette smoke. You mentioned the weed. I mean, you mentioned the, the flower and the poison coming up from the roots. I didn't know how marijuana was cut, but someone told me the other day that they take the marijuana plant and to extract the THC, they have to flip it upside down. And that poison Mm. goes from the roots into the petals, into the buds. Then they harvest those buds. That poison's coming right up through the roots, whether it be marijuana or alcohol. And it wants wants you and I to die. All those petals fall off till there's nothing left, and the next thing that happens is you die. Some yeah. have already died out there. You know what I'm talking about, folks. Yeah. This was not God's plan, but it's happening. Oh, no, no. I got it in my own family. No, sir. And it can be multi-generational. I, I can see in my own extended family, three generations down, I'll call jump from the grandfather to the father to a sister, half-sister. Now, what do you do, Earthquake? To help set somebody free who's bound up tonight through alcohol or weed or even cigarettes and they want to break free. We're dealing with some different uh, spirits, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You're dealing <clears throat> excuse me, you're dealing you're dealing with some serious spirits. Those those are, 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 are real real serious, manufactured in the pits of hell. Hate the fact that you challenge them right now. <laughs> they don't like that. They want to stay there. They want to stay there and finish the mission. But I love what Jesus said, that he gave us power to thread upon them, serpents and scorpions, and nothing by any means shall harm them. He gave us power to, to cast these things out. And, and what we do now, if you have anybody in particular, say if anybody listening that, that needs prayer, I know they can't communicate back with us to talk to us, but... If it were possible that someone that's paying attention, they probably a whole lot of people paying attention. You just want to pray for them now, Shannon. Yes. That God will break this. He will He will break this and take the root from that flower brimstone and that root of bitterness, yes. as Apostle Paul talks about, that will spring forth. The cigarettes, that 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 grinding up of, um, of Ezekiel the eighth chapter. <coughs> Excuse me. Ezekiel, the eighth chapter, where it talks about putting a branch to the nose. You remember that scripture? Okay. It, rep- it represents it, it's Ezekiel, eighth chapter, and and I'm going to turn to it right now. Wow. Ezekiel, the eighth chapter. I would read that. Didn't even see it. Yeah, eighth chapter, and the 17th verse. And it says, then he said unto me, has thou not seen this? Ezekiel had to look in what the priests were doing. The priests were messing up bad, smoking and doing drugs and pornography, everything, instead of being what God called them to be. Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit abominations? God said, they think it's just something light. They get playing like it's nothing, which they commit here. For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger and lo, And God saying in modern turn, and check this out. Ezekiel, they put the branch to their nose. Oh, other words, other words, it's the type of cigarettes, alcohol, anything that 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 is lit 
or light you up is considered, as far as God is concerned, is burning something up in your nose. The bomb. Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Snuff, any of them kind of things. And the priests that, that they ought not be doing this. Seriously. They're the, they're mm. the men, and for them the men of God. See, so what we do now is those that's listening that is doing this, alcohol, drugs, whatever they're doing, that God will put a, a cease to it. And here's a prayer we used to pray when they had a substance abuse center back in the day. We don't only pray for the abuser, but we pray against the place that's that's offering these vices to them. If you follow what I'm saying? If they're going down to a shooting gallery, we say, God, shut it down. If look liquor store, shut it down to where they can't get it. Take the taste out, God. Take it away from them. Take that desire out because the word of God, Shannon, says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. God, allow them, God, to experience your permanent uh, taste bud changer. That's what they need. That's how we pray. God, let the taste buds be changed. Let that part of their brain, the hippocampus, whatever that thing is in that brain, that that, that, that it, 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 as it, they breathe and live, that it will not no longer be ignited. By these things, God, take it away from them. Give them a different desire. And we're going to pray that right now. Father yes. God, in the name of Jesus, those that's out there that's been laboring, God, that's been chain smokers, God, that's been smoking in seven and eight dollar a pack three or four times a week, God, God, change that right now. Take that taste out. Take it out. It's from the pits of hell. It's, it's manufactured down there in the pits of hell. God, where that fire and brimstone is, in the name of Jesus, Lord, take it away. As the book of James says, what they say, that one little word, that one little word is like a match can burn a whole neighborhood down. That one word is I will, or that one sentence, I will go and buy myself something to drink. Is all it takes to ignite the those spirits in them bottles of hell. God, right now, turn their vocabulary around, God. Turn it around. Give them something else to reach for. Give them something else, God, to reach for as opposed to cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, marijuana, that THC and that weed, God, a mess your brain up so bad. You be going one way and you living in the other part of the neighborhood, think you're going to going home, but you're going the wrong way. God, turn it around, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Bring them to their knees right now before you cry out, God. Like the two men that went to the temple, one was so full of pride. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm not like this guy. And God said, I didn't accept him. But that one that beat his chest and he said, God, have mercy on me. Help me, God. I'm not right before you. I drink. I smoke. I commit adultery. I fornicate. I do everything but change me. Rearrange everything in my heart. God said, that's the one that came out with the victory. Let those ones that's listening right now cry out to you the same way. God, I'm not where I want to be. Just plain and simple like the thief on the cross. God, when you get to your kingdom, don't forget me. God, they crying out to you. They're tired. They're tired, Father. Their bodies are tired. They just need you right now to take that one little change in their taste and their desires. And we claiming it done right now. God, I see that person. I can see him in the vision right now, throwing that stuff in the trash. I see him. They say, I'm free. I'm free. All you guys do, just say, I'm free. Who the son says free is free indeed. Just say it. He separated me from that. I haven't smoked a cigarette. I haven't smoked weed. I haven't done cocaine or pills since the summertime of 1971, nor have I had a taste for it. I've been saved since December 15, 1971, and never touched any of it since. And I'm believing God is going to do the same thing for these listeners around the world. That he takes that out of your taste right now. And Shannon, we pray this in Jesus' name. I say amen to that. Folks, if you're enjoying tonight, I'll tell you, I am too. We've got Minister Earthquake Kelly on. 
Earthquake, give out your website. And as I was looking at the website, you've got two books on your website. Born to Lose, Destined to Win. and Yes, that's my life story. The Emos mm-hmm. Cycle, which is volume one. And um, they can go to your website and order these. You've got them available right now as an e-book. Um, the uh, second uh, book, The Inmost Cycle, what is that about? It's a 300-page manual. We deal with everything in that book. We, we cover uh, um, Revelation, the 12th chapter, where the enemy, where it all started, where the enemy said, I will sin. The 14 times he said, I will do this, I will do that. And we talk about that. We talk about um, the, the Eeps. Are you familiar with the Eeps? No, sir. The Eeps are are people that, that come and infiltrate churches so they can take over. Whoa. We talk about them. Mm. We break that down. How they'll, they'll find you, for instance, they'll find you shorthanded where you know you need a bus driver for your church or you need a choir director. Right. Or you need something like that. Well, the Eeps will come in and they will try to fill those positions. But you can never, here's how you could tell an eat. They'll never go to prayer meeting. They'll never go to a real hot service of deliverance. That They'll always come to work and do church work, but they won't, they won't have anything to do with salvation. But they'll come and fill your positions. They want okay. to be the head trustee, the head deacon, the head choir director, and the bus driver. Then they want to take your church over. <laughs> then they'll take split your church. Up. They will take it. If you let them, they'll split your church wide open. I and saw I talk that. about them. Ooh, that's the truth. I saw that one yeah, time in my grandparents' church mm-hmm. with a choir oh, man. director that tried to oh, yeah. take it over. Oh, yeah. Literally. Maybe not oh, once, yeah. but twice oh, yeah. I've yeah. seen that. And, folks, it, it's the truth. The enemy wants to get his foot in the door there so he can break things up. What else are you that's cover right. in that book? And that's, we, in that book, we talk about um, uh, people who can't sleep at night, what the problem with that, children. Who are tormented, and the doctor diagnosed them as having a bad bladder, and come to find out they didn't have a bad bladder, is that they were tormented at night. They were seeing evil spirits in the middle of the hallway and under the bed, and in the closet, and then they'd be so scared that they'd rather pee in the bed than to face that spirit. We talk Whoa. about that, how to get rid of that. There's, um, there we we talk about the the different experiences that I I went through and how the God gave us the victory. Uh, two years ago, um, you can look it up. It's actually on the internet where you can see where it says Earthquake Kelly prays for a house where his chair is spinning around. You know, lazy boy chairs don't come with elect, le, uh, electrically plugged in the wall. Most of them they're not they're not like that, right? Right. But my my wife Selena and I we were called over. We were called over to a house. We got an emergency call because we do house calls all over the world. And this lady called us, and she said, come, earthquake, come quick, come quick. And I said, what's going on? She said, the chair is spinning in the middle of the floor by itself. And, and, and sure enough, the lazy boy chair was spinning in the middle of the chair, I mean, wow. in the middle of the floor by itself. Wow. And it's on film. It's on film. You can see it on the Internet spinning in the middle of the floor. And they were so scared that they wouldn't go in the house. They would literally sleep outside in their, in their car mm-hmm. every night because they was afraid to go in the house. There was That's a demon in that chair. Oh, yeah. 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 So I went, house, hmm. I went in the house. I went in the house with them and they were so scared. I said, let's go in. Come on. Don't be scared. Let's go in. I went in and the chair spinning around. I said, OK, chair. All right, spirit. All right, here we come. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> and I went. And I sat down in the chair, and the chair stopped. I rebuked all of that. I went down, anointed the whole house, and what have you, cast it out. But they had some items. They had some items in the house that shouldn't be there. They had some witchcraft stuff that was that was in there. Oh. And plus, they were, they were, they were the the two women. They were they were they were shacking and and. And, and and my wife and I asked them, are you committing fornication? Yes, we are every day. And that opened the door. And then they had a lot of witchcraft paraphernalia in there. Even though they were faithful churchgoers, 
they still had a lot of witchcraft stuff in there that needed to be got with. So we took the stuff out for them. I asked them, I said, do you mind if I set this stuff on fire for you? Burn all this witchcraft paraphernalia. And they said, oh, please, oh, please. I said, because that's just what's connected to your problem. So we, we lit up the barbecue grill, lit it up, and, uh, and uh, set it on fire. And it was hard to burn. Some of that stuff is hard to burn. No matter how uh, hot the, the, the fire is, it's hard to burn it a lot of times because it doesn't want to burn. So we said, I, I, I tell it, no, you, you, oh, you're going to burn. You're going to turn to ashes. And so we had to light it about three or four different times until finally it started to burn. Wood, guess, would not burn because the spirit in there didn't want it to burn. And then sometimes you can hear it screaming and yelling. You can hear wow. stuff screaming and yelling. We've, we we experience we we are a hands-on deliverance ministry. We we are literally the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so if there's someone tuning in and they've got an evil spirit in the house, you can come and cleanse the house. In Jesus, we do name. it all over the world. We Amazing. do it all. We we do it all over the world. We help people everywhere. We just got back, as you know, Sam. We just got back from London, dealing with that, and that was yes. a that was a battle. Mm. That was a battle. That I'm. Oh my God, that was a battle. I'm telling you, the the enemy was Mother's upset. Bondage, cut the it? lights off. Cut the power off. Wow. Uh, cut our phones off. We couldn't communicate out. Shut stuff off. Uh, one uh, tried to get in the bed and try to jump on me in the bed. On the other side of me, my my wife was asleep. A spirit tried to jump on me, and I told him, "If you don't get off me quickly, fast, and in a hurry," and they got off. And the other ones jumped, went down to the floor because we were there on a the mission. And we got the person to the altar, got them saved in the name of Jesus. So it was worth it. We were able to talk to psychiatrists while we were there. They, we met with some of the, the city officials and told them about Jesus. And they looked at me like I was out of space. But I didn't care because I know the power of God. Amen. And uh, went to, to China ministered over there, walked the Great Wall of China, oh, man. Tiananmen Square. I've been to a lot of places, and like you said, I'm just, I'm just getting started. But we do help people. We don't come for free, Shannon. We can't come for for a bologna sandwich and, 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 a, and a Coca-Cola. We can't, they can't do that, you know. But, you know, we have to have something for our expenses to come travel that far you know people oh, absolutely. are willing to bless us it costs money you know we be able to get on a plane yeah, and fly uh, and minister yeah, in some yeah. of these places i'll tell you they're in so much bondage no wonder the enemy oh, was hitting you yeah. hard because um deliverance needs to be breaking out all over the world in some places the enemy's had an iron grip on it there's been like an iron yes. demonic curtain from for decades that's right that's right to keep that's freedom. right and we can break that Yes, we can. We can break that, Shannon. We can break that through the word of God, through prayer and fasting. We mm. can can break it. We have a great success rate because we go in there armed. We don't go in there uh, or expect. Well, I expect it to happen. No, 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 no. We don't we don't go in there with none of that. We go in there already fully assured that the Hebrew word Hugh Parkles, Hugh Parkles means before we was even born, God already considered us as a born again success. <laughs> wow. Wow. When you got saved, when you hmm. got saved, God God said you already a success, but you have to pray and fast and study like Paul did. You know, you'll come in there automatically. You gotta get some sense in your head. But I mean, but True. God sees you as a success. So you go there feeling like you're a success. Go there feeling all beat up. You ain't gonna get nothing feeling you beat up. You gotta go there and say, Look, I got this in the name of Jesus. We gonna we're gonna cast this thing out of here. We gonna we're gonna rebuke this. You know, there was a the mother called me one time. She said, my son's got cancer. He, he does? Yeah, he got cancer. He had the Children's Hospital on Sunset in Vermont and Los Angeles. Come, earthquake, come. I want you to pray for him. They give him up. And I got out there, Shannon. I brought my team with me. I got out there. And they had the boy that had galls, red stuff come out of his nose, his ears, and his mouth. Wow. His blood just running. They had him packed. And I asked the nurses, I said, you mind we pray? Mind, please, by all means. And we got down on the, on the around, all of the elders got down on there, on around the edge of the bed. And I told that spirit, I said, I know what you are because you tried to get me. 
And I said, I rebuke you out of this child right now in the name of Jesus. That boy got healed. He got healed, Shannon. And it's Thank been you, over Jesus. 20 years ago. He had graduated out of college as if nothing happened. Thank you, Because Jesus. we know what we're dealing with. Mm. When you know, you don't go to that hospital to, well, I, I spec, I, it might happen. No. You can't get there fast enough. I am just keep from breaking the speed limit because you know for a fact that God already going to meet you there when he's waiting on you like one of them doctors waiting to show you where the room is. That's how God works. Hallelujah. Mm. Wow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, glory. Mm, mm, mm. I'm taking a note here. Thank you, Jesus. We got so many good titles for this show tonight because we're just getting mm. loaded up. This is like a uh, a buffet. Hallelujah. I tell you, Ooh, I'm feasting on this Jesus, information tonight. You. I haven't heard this stuff taught before. That's the honest truth. I've done, I've done 4,000 shows. And wow. every time Earthquake comes on this program, I'm learning something i never heard about before. And I've went and checked the scriptures. Scriptures are backing up what he said because that's where he gets it from. Words, the Lord has right given him Bible. revelation and he's teaching the word. There's a hundred, there's a hundred, there's a hundred different things in the Bible, Shannon, not to pat myself on the back, but there's a hundred things in the Bible that's not even talked about that the body of Christ needs. They well, need, we need it, Shannon. Information. They need mm -hmm. it. We need it. Not yes. they, we. I'm part of Amen. We need it, Shannon. I can, I can take you to a hundred different subjects from Genesis to Revelations is right there that can help you. But the body of Christ is not being fed, and it's right there, man. It's right there, right there, man. It's it's like, man. God, what can I do to help me, God, to get this to your people? I'm trying, and thank God for Shannon. He's helping. Some people treat me like I'm like I'm a frog or something. I'm not a frog. I'm a human being that's same trying to help you, brother. It's I, those, I don't. I don't. It's oh those my demons, God, Shannon. It's those demons. Once again, working through people to try to thwart the move of God. There's demons yeah, everywhere yeah. out there, and they're embedded with Ooh. ministries and with people. And any time yeah. you find a ministry that doesn't talk about deliverance, doesn't do it, that's a red flag for me that you're going to find a lot of people full-on demonized and in bondage. Because where there's no deliverance, you're going to find captives and slaves to these demonic exactly. hosts of hell. Because... They've come, and people don't know what they're fighting and how to fight back, and they're just slaughtered out there. That's the problem, Shannon. Lack of uh, 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 513 of Isaiah. My people go into bondage because they have no knowledge. Woo. Not only uh, – it's, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Not only uh, uh, destroyed, but going to bondage. I've been in jail before. You've probably been in there too one time. I was there you for know 20, what it's like going into bondage? 23 days. Picked up by federal marshals. Yeah. I told my story last time, folks. You sure did. Sure did. Sure I don't did. want to be there again. Everybody should go to jail for three days. Though. You'll never want to go again. But I disobeyed oh, a federal done. judge, and he sent the U.S. marshals out after me. Now, folks, wow. there's people right now that have been in bondage their whole life. They're behind bars today, yes. spiritual bars. Yes. And then the enemy wants to put you behind physical bars and bury you That's under right. the prison. We're, our job is to go set the captives free, break them out yes. of their of their shackles yes. and chains with the word of truth, the yes. word of God in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes, Shannon. That's what we're called to do. You're doing it right now. You you have no idea who who's listening right now who's been blessed tonight. You know? And 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 I thank God for what you're doing. Giving me an opportunity to go forth. You know, I'm I'm going back on um on, on YouTube, I, I rebuilt uh, uh, a studio. I'm almost yes. finished. But be on YouTube and dealing, talking about about things. And and I'm an artist, and I'm using posters, illustrating. Since I don't have a building right now, I don't have a place. I'm using YouTube. Uh, tomorrow, uh, 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 I'll, I'll I'll call you and tell you how to where to find you. That awesome. I, don't, I don't have it right now in front of me, but. We, 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 we're here, Shannon, to help the body of Christ, you know, to, to, to help the body of Christ. And, 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 and I guess I just I just love it. I just love it. And folks, I can. There's so much more that Earthquake can do. 
All he needs is the resources. I'm asking everybody out there tuning in to partner with him. He's going to tell you how you can do it. You can go to his website yes. and immediately pick up his biography, his story. Born to Lose, Destined to Win. And then his new book, it's volume one. I think you're going to write 27 volumes, if I recall. In most cycles. 25. 25. Uh-huh. Folks, 300 pages. I want to encourage mm-hmm. you to pick up these. And then support his ministry. You've heard what God has put on his heart to do. Build a, a training university to teach people. What he's learned from the battlefields, he survived it, and he's here to teach you and I how we can be free in Jesus' name, how the enemy works, the devices of the enemy, how to identify it, how to escape, be set free in Jesus' name, how to help others escape. I'm learning stuff through you coming on these programs that I never heard taught before, and it's all backed up with the Word of God. Brother, I'm excited to... To be working with you, and I'm looking forward to doing many more shows. But folks, God has uh, even bigger missions for him than Omega Man Radio. He wants to send him around the world. You can help him to do that and to accomplish much for the kingdom of God. Earthquake, uh, you have a PayPal on your website, and also uh, to give people yes. a mailing address they can write to you at. Yes, P.O. Box 1192, Little Rock, California. Nine three five four three. We really could use the assistance. Really, just imagine if we had the ability to put our own books out. Would I happen to go to, you know, all those other hoops and jumps and stuff? We could put our and oh my God, too! I forgot. We have CDs, DVDs, and CDs that that people can also purchase if they want to. If you're in your car and you and you know you you don't want to have time to read, you can put it in your car. And you could listen. You could listen. And I have a, uh, 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 um, uh, gosh, can't think of it right now. But I have a, a rage test, a oh. rage test, 40 questions to test yourself to see if you if you have rage. I have questionnaires and biblically based and talking about Nebuchadnezzar and, 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 and what he did to 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 those those young men. That was that was in captivity and 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 I'm telling you when I make when I make the altar call, so many people come to the altar. See, we have so much stuff to give, but we still we still need the building for right now to operate out of. Somebody might have a building right now in Southern California in our area. Say, so you know, earthquake. Actually, I got a building you can use. Man, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be teaching. I'll teach. You give, give me that building. I'll teach. I'll start teaching tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I be, believe it. I'll be there teaching tomorrow, Shannon. I'll be there teaching tomorrow and say, whoever come, you want to learn, we here. I'm telling you. I mean, it, it, you never know. Some of your listeners might be here in California. They may have some property that say, I got a building out there in the Antelope Valley. It's called Antelope Valley. I got a property. You do? Yeah, it's a warehouse. Oh, man, where is that? Where we'll get it, we'll fix it up. I'll get the painting crew, and you need it. No, I don't need no work. Just come on and occupy. Okay. And let me say well, something to the people you know. out there, folks. Mm-hmm. Don't think that you can't make a difference. Whatever God puts in your heart to give, right. if you'll give it, if everybody gave what God put on their heart to give, that this it would be a mission accomplished, and that's the truth. Because I know there's a lot yeah. of people tuning in. One person may not be able to do it all themselves. That's okay. You do your part, and if everybody right. does their part, we can get these missions accomplished. This is a great yes. ministry to get behind, yeah. EarthquakeKellyMinistries.com. I believe in you and your ministry, and you, um, it's the truth, and the truth will set us free. It's in the Word of God. God's, God has spared Amen. his life. The enemy wanted to kill him many times, killed him twice, yeah, but God rose him back up because he's not yes, done he with the earthquake because Hallelujah. God knew that there would be more to come that the enemy was going to have an advantage over if the information did not get out to you and I about how to fight back and what we're dealing with. That's the way the enemy has done so much damage over the over the centuries because he's pretty much had his way and there's been very few to withstand him and so he has worked destruction and death on generation after the generation and then he just repeats it. The enemy doesn't need to take a, a nap or sleep. He just, he's out there seeking whom he may devour. The good news is tonight, yep. 
you're here tuning in because God wanted you to be here. I believe that. Amen. God knew Amen. this program was going to take place tonight. Earthquake didn't have to do it. I didn't have to do it. He had an excuse if he had wanted to take it because he just lost his mother. And that would be reasonable for anybody to take some time off. But you know what? His mother said and his son said, don't quit. And he told me, I want to do the program. Folks, the enemy hit me hard. I, the enemy didn't want me to come on tonight. Now I know why I got hit with the flu. All night I've had mm. pounding headaches and I've had flu chills. This program almost didn't take place. Don't ever take these programs for, for granted, folks. They come at great cost. I could Amen. be arrested in this country and sent to jail for five years mm. for doing this kind of program in the largest Muslim nation in the world. And I don't say that lightly. Jesus. There, these things come at great cost. Earthquake has done the work that he's done at great cost to him and his family. And he's come under attack, even by people in the church. Because the enemy Amen. does not want this man to live. He doesn't want, didn't want the program to happen tonight. And he doesn't want you to go forward with this information and begin to set the captives free in Jesus' name. He wants you to forget about the program. Tune it off and go listen to some conspiracy radio show or watch TV. You could be watching the History Channel tonight. I know that. But you're here tonight because God wants you because this information can save your life. Because the demons are coming. Yes. And what are we going to do when they knock oh, yeah. on our door? Will we be able to stand? Make a stand? Will we be able to rebuke them in Jesus' name and know who we are? Will we know the keys to break through Hallelujah. that have been ripped out of the word of God? Like in the case of the NIV, that verse is gone. I looked it up. It's gone. Mm-hmm. The enemy has come mm-hmm. in and tried to leaven the word of God and weaken it because he doesn't want you and I to have every advantage over him that the word of God would give us. If we just believe on the word of God and begin to use what we've learned, it's a weapon. It's a sword of the Lord to go out there and attack the host of hell and put them to run in Jesus name and set the captives free. Amen. So I just want to encourage you folks, um, Act on what you've heard tonight. Step up. Give to the ministry of EarthquakeKellyMinistries.com. You'll be blessed. I'm here to tell you it's going to be good fruit. God will bless you. Whatever you can give, a dollar, five dollars. Maybe God will have you give 500. You know your situation. And if God has blessed you financially, it's so you can abound every good work. That's Amen. the only reason God would Amen. choose to bless you and I. Not so we can heap it up on ourselves. Nothing wrong with living good. Don't get me wrong. But if God has blessed you and we're doing nothing... And we're just thinking, well, I want to put it back in my IRA for 30 years from now or retirement. Folks, I don't think we got that much time before the return of the Lord. The systems Amen. are going to fail before <laughs> Jesus comes back. The whole system's going to go bankrupt. They're going to be throwing the gold in the streets, mm-hmm. for goodness sakes. The Revelation says that. The money's going That's to fail. Right. And then what are we going to do? What are we putting our faith and trust in anyway? Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots. Psalm 27 says 20 verse 7 but we will remember the name of the lord our god i want to go i'm i'm in it all though i'm in it 100 percent. it's all or nothing yes sir that's where we got to yes, be folks sir. to the death if that's what it requires to accomplish the mission in jesus name and death to all Amen. demons we show mercy to the people but no mercy to the demons because they won't show mercy mm-hmm. to you and i they may beg mm-hmm. you they may call for satan to come and help them but you know what? They would kill you and I in a split second if they can. And they've already killed uh, some people out there. Man. Earthquake man. knows. He's seen people who have died. Oh, Mel Novak came on this program. He was at a prison talking to a man one moment. And the next minute, the man had just been stabbed in, in the neck three times and died. He was witnessing oh, to three people. And they didn't want to hear anything. That, they said, maybe next time, Brother Mel. There wasn't any next time for them because they all got a hold of some bad dope in the prison. They all overdosed and died mm. in prison. Mm. They're in a hell tonight. Mm. The point I'm making here tonight right. is the stakes are high tonight, folks. And we've got to get behind the deliverance ministry because there's not many people that are willing to do it. Will you and I do it is the question. I want to do everything I can. Brother Earthquake, I want to thank you for coming on. We're going to have you back on again before we close once again, if someone yes, would sir. like to email you or contact your office, is there a way they can do that? Yes, yes. They can also call. I have a, I have a 24-hour, seven days a week telephone, Brother hmm. Shannon. Yeah, they could call. 
they can call me and it's uh, free. You don't cost nothing. And well, I don't know if it it might cost some people. I'm not sure, but it's a uh, area code six six one nine four four one four two nine. I'll say it again: six six one nine four four fourteen twenty nine. And I will I will talk to you too. I will talk to you myself if the staff does it. And I talked, and one time Shannon, a lady hung up on me because she said, this ain't ever crazy. He wouldn't <laughs> talk to people. We wouldn't do stuff like that. I said, it's me. <laughs> she was almost so convincing. I had to ask my wife, I said, what is my name? And she said, earthquake, street, earthquake, kill. I said, oh, this lady was so convincing. I didn't think I was me anymore after she got to. You know, <laughs> and I, yes, it's me. It's me. I will talk to you, pray for you, help you any way I can. I'd be more than happy to. But Shannon, let me say this last thing before we pray and close. I was at Sid Roth's show. I know you remember. I oh, yes. was at Sid Roth's show on TBN. I've been on the 700 Club, Daystar, uh, TTT, uh, uh, Word Network. I've been on all of them. But I was on Sid's show, and there was 700,000 people, 700,000 people trying to reach me. Whoa. Of course, they had a, you know, 700,000 people trying to get in touch with me. With, uh, to sit show now if Ooh. if if each one of those beautiful people was trying to get in touch with me only gave one dollar we could build oh yeah see that guess one dollar we yes. can we can get a building and i can start teaching do you know how many people shannon want this information but they can't get to it because i can't i can't get seven hundred thousand people in my house you know what i mean True. It, it, that's impossible. But our own building here, there may be someone sitting there now saying real estate that want to get a write off that's got a building, sitting in a nice building with a nice parking lot. Well, I mean, nothing but parking lots out here. But I'm saying out here, you never know how God works. But if each one of those beautiful people I only had a cent, one dollar. That's right. One dollar. We, we would be on this phone saying, Shannon, I want you to come out and broadcast from our our facility here in the desert. I want you to come broadcast here and bring your people with you and your audience with you. Let's do another live broadcast from the building and 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 you'll see for yourself how God. Shannon, let me tell you, before you go, before we pray, Tim. what I taught tonight, what I taught tonight, not the bragging, that's just kindergarten stuff. Whew. That's it. What you learned tonight, Shannon? No, no, no. I, 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 oh, that's just kindergarten, that's just kindergarten stuff. Wow. Oh, that's the kindergarten stuff. I'm telling you, that, that's not that's not no real deep deep knowledge. That's that's the stuff you learn when you when you're a child in voodoo. That's what the witches teach. You. That's just kindergarten stuff. There's some stuff in this Bible. I'm telling you, that when you we we get our building and we start teaching. I'm telling you, you you, you need to put a hat on your head because your hair allowed to stand up straight, and it's not because of demonic. It's because of the excitement of the Holy Ghost showing you in the Word. You've been living beneath your privilege for too long, and now it's time to get your freedom. I say amen to I'm that. Done. Folks, step out. Do what you can do. If everybody does their part, we can get these jobs, missions accomplished. And that's the truth. Yes, sir. That's the truth. Don't think that you don't make a difference. You can make a difference. Yes, yes. And I, PayPal, too. We have PayPal. Or Craig Kelly PayPal is easy to use. You, anybody can use that worldwide. Um I want to encourage you all to share this program with everybody you know. That's another way you can help. Get the word out about tonight's broadcast with Earthquake Kelly. We'll have it up in the archive no later than the morning. And Earthquake, if someone out there is tuning in tonight and the Holy Spirit has been convicting them, they didn't even know what it was that was convicting them, and they know that they need to make a decision tonight to surrender all to Jesus, but they're not ready if they were to die tonight. After this program, they could, we don't know, folks. Someone could be tuning in tonight, right. and this could be the last program you would ever hear. If the enemy has his way, you don't close your eyes if you're not sure where you're going to be, if you were mm -hmm. not to wake up. What can a person do tonight mm -hmm. to be saved, Earthquake? My God, that's one of the greatest questions in the world, man. Man, you're talking about eternity. You know, Romans 10 and 9, for us that believe in Romans 10 and 9, some people don't, but we do. 
you know, and if you don't, if if, if yes, don't worry about it. Just let me do this. <laughs> you say, Father, I believe that you died on the cross. I repent of my sins. I believe that that you're the savior of the world. I ask you to come into my heart and save me. And I ask you not only save me, Father, but fill me with your Holy Spirit. That's not hard to do. That's what I did at the altar. I went to the church. And I said, God, I want you all to listen to me. Listen to Brother Earthquake. Just talk to him. Say, God, I believe you died on the cross. Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. I believe that God raised you from the dead. Now I want you, you that's sitting there listening right now, you don't know what to do with yourself. This is your time right now. As Brother Shannon said, if you close your eyes without Jesus and the coroner's office come and send a car to get you, and those guys wrap up your body, but your soul is not wrapped up for eternity in Jesus. You're going to be in bad shape. I plead with you right now. Put everything aside and start working. Let's work on your soul right now. Put it down. Put her, push her, push that girl off of you right now. Push that guy off of you right now. Listen to me. Listen to me. That radio is not on in that room for nothing. You've been set aside by God for your soul, your soul tonight. Listen to me. Pay attention. Repeat after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I repent of my sins. God, I ask you to save my soul. I believe, God, that your son Jesus is the Lord and Savior, and I ask him now to come inside of me and change me. Rearrange my life. I give myself over to you. And I do it all in the name of your son, Jesus. And I say, amen, so be it. And if you have done that, you accept the Lord right now. That is the greatest thing on this planet. There's nothing bigger, nothing greater. Even the angels in heaven threw a party on your behalf. They are rejoicing right now. They are rejoicing. And if they're rejoicing, my mom and my son can see him rejoicing. They probably rejoicing too, because they know, they know now what you what you what you're going to get. My God, when the enemy attacks you, God's going to lead you. Ask God to take you to a nice, beautiful church that preaches and teaches the Word of God. That can lay hands on you and get you filled with the Holy Ghost. The evidence of speaking in tongues, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you to be witnesses to God for God in these last days because Jesus is coming soon and you made the wisest decision ever tonight what is this day the first or the second of February Shannon this is, um, we're right now in the uh, second of February second of February 2017 what a beautiful day what a new birthday for them, Shannon. A new birthday. That's beautiful. A new birthday. Isn't that great? Yes. Isn't that great? In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Shannon, for having me. Brother Earthquake, thank, thank you, so my much. brother. Let me pray for you before you go. Father God, of the mighty name of thank Jesus, you, we thank you for this divine appointment oh. tonight. We thank you, Lord, oh, yeah. that we were able to do this program. I ask that you would bless everyone that has tuned in tonight or will. I ask that yes. you bless Brother Earthquake. Sister Kelly, their family. God, I'm asking that you unloose your ministering spirits to them in the mighty name of Jesus to minister to them in this time Hallelujah. where they're going to celebrate the mother's promotion. I know it's a sad time, but at the same time, Lord, it's a time to rejoice. Yes, yes. Because she's yes. made it to the other side. And Lord, if we'll keep the faith, we'll make it also. And we ask that you would bless him, expand the Kelly's ministries. We ask God that you give him some divine appointments on TV, more radio. That you would bring in the finances to build yes. the university center there in California. That you would bring in the resources for a new vehicle. Because he needs some good transportation, Lord. He's been faithful Amen. in what he had. He needs some new things, Lord. I'm asking that you would meet every need that he has in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, for those that would come forward and do whatever they could that you put on their heart to give. That you would bless them ten, a hundred, a thousand fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, mm -hmm. we thank you for what you're going to do. Thank we thank you, Lord, Lord, for more programs that are going to come. And thank you for 
revealing this knowledge from your word that can set us free and giving us more wisdom and understanding. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we yes. pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Shan. We love you and all our listeners. We're going to go a little deeper next time. We're going to get up on a different uh, grade level. <laughs> Man, this is good. You might have to keep me in kindergarten for a while. That's okay. I'll, I'll move up with you. This is good stuff. <laughs> Brother Earthquake, we love you, man. We'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Okay, love you, man. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Folks, I tell you, I'm blessed. And I really am. And I mean that. Whatever God puts in your heart to give to the ministry, it was a dollar. If everybody gave a dollar, you can make a difference. And um, it's the truth. We don't despise the day of small things. God can take it and multiply it if we'll be faithful with what he asks us to do. He's done that throughout time, and he'll do it again for you and I. Omega Man Radio has been commissioned to invade deep into enemy territory, drive out the hosts of hell, and take back the land. Our mission is to preach Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is the only name written under heaven by which men might be saved, cast out demons, and pray for the sick that they may be healed in Jesus' name. If this program is a blessing to you and you would like to take part in this harvest of souls, join with us and attack the hosts of hell by donating any amount online at www.omegamanradio.com. You may also donate by sending check or money order to 9030 West Sahara Avenue, Suite 665, Las Vegas, Nevada, 